Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I would like to turn uh, uh, just for a couple of seconds to offshore. As I hear from some of our Texans involved in offshore drilling, there was in the past, back when it was uh, MMR or MMS and BOMER, there was a much more cooperative attitude between the regulators and the drillers. Oftentimes, when a drilling rig would become available on short notice, permit could be pushed through rapidly. Now the permitting process is taking much longer, and in fact, sometimes permits aren't being issued until one or two days before the proposed uh, drilling date. And the reports that I've heard anecdotally are there, the uh, the government is actually sitting on these uh, permits until right before because they're thinking there might be a change in the law. Doesn't it seem like you ought to issue the permits? when they are done under current law and deal with changes in the law when and if, or regulations when and if they actually happen? So following the Deepwater Horizon spill, part of what we did is we introduced um, very strong heightened standards around drilling safety and environmental protection. It is true that for a period of time after the introduction of those standards, there was uncertainty around the permitting process and permits did take uh, a long time to issue. Um, we are three years removed from that. I met with oil and gas CEOs along with Secretary Jewell just last week in Houston at OTC. And I think what we have seen, and this has not been by accident, has been the product of a lot of hard work and close engagement with industry, is a much more per, uh, predictable permitting time frame and timelines for issuing permits have dropped dramatically. Uh, over time. And so uh, to answer sort of the last point you made about whether, you know, we are intentionally sitting on permits in anticipation of regulatory changes, I will tell you that is absolutely not true. Great. That is reassuring to hear. Um, as a result of the Deepwater Horizon, uh, Bessie is also looking at uh, new regulations with respect to uh, blowout preventers. Do we have any idea uh, how that is coming along and when we can expect to see something? Uh, the BOP rule, you know, obviously coming out of Macondo, one of the central issues was the performance of the Deepwater Horizon blowout preventer. That was a focus of the President's Commission review as well as DOI's investigation. Uh, and there is a substantial need for continued improvement with respect to BOPs. We put in some rules already. Uh, the BOP rule is expected. Uh, a high priority for Bessie. I would expect the draft rule uh, to be published sometime this year. Well, I know the, uh, the, the producers would, are, are looking forward to knowing what they have to, uh, have to deal with. So the, the sooner and, that comes and out. And we look forward to engaging on it. I mean, part of what we need to do is continue uh, engagement with industry around these rules. All right. And I want to get to some of the things that some of the other questions have. Uh, have dealt with specifically dealing with the uh, allegation that oil and gas producers are sitting on uh, on their federal leases. What I what I tend to hear is there's a there's a permitting issue and uh, and uh, you know, it takes them a real long time to get a permit. Now I also hear that there are reports that there's 6,000 uh, approved but unused. Uh, uh, drilling permits. Are, are you aware of the reporting of that uh, number of unused permits? Uh, we are counting ones that have gone beyond the two-year deadline in the permit and actually aren't still under an active permit? Uh, I am aware. Look, there are a substantial number of uh, APDs that BLM has approved that have not been drilled on. Uh, that is part of uh, what we are focused on is how are we using our resources? Are we lining up our resources with opportunities that industry wants to uh, pursue? Uh, they are waiting for permits in those areas, while in the meantime we are approving permits that don't get drilled. That right. doesn't and make I, sense. I want to get to that number again, because I, I think there is an issue there. Uh, are you all counting in that 6,000 number, uh, co-bed methane, they, they, nobody is really doing anymore? Uh, I can look into that for you. Yeah, uh, I, I would appreciate it. Now, are you aware of, of a problem with unused uh, or undrilled leases and unused permits on State land as opposed to uh, Federal land? 
I am not familiar with that issue, no. I think you will find that uh, you don't have nearly the problem on State land that we do on Federal land. I see uh, my time has expired, uh, so I will yield back.